You used to be the Homeland Security Advisor to President Bush, and you worked with Omar Suleiman, who's the new Vice President of Egypt. Tell us about this man. That's right. I mean, this is a guy who has a, an illustrious military career, and which is how he came to Mubarak's attention, of course. He then becomes the Chief Military and uh, the Chief Intelligence Officer. This is at the absolute top of the security apparatus throughout Egypt. And so when he becomes the vice president today, what message does that send to the world and to the people of Egypt? What is the message? For, well, I, I think this is more of the same. This is part of the, that tight circle around Mubarak that he's only promoting those who he trusts and that are already around him. I, I will tell you, this is really disheartening. And President Obama called for a number of things, including not, not seeing violence against protesters. Today we see more than 17 dead. Um, he's talked for, uh, the president called on Hosni Mubarak to, to uh, open up the internet and the social networking sites. None of that's happened. And the pressure is going to in, in, continue to increase on Mubarak and on President Obama to make a clearer statement. So, so what I hear you saying is when uh, um, President Mubarak reshuffles his, his government, his cabinet, and names uh, Omar Soleiman to be the vice president, first time he's ever had a, a vice president, the former head of the intelligence uh, organizations in Egypt, names Ahmed Shafiq, the prime minister, a retired Air Force general. What you're saying is this isn't change you can believe in. No, this is not, not only is this not change you can believe in, but this is change. This is the kind of change, the sort of moves that will absolutely infuriate and, and further inspire the protest. Well, let me ask Mona to weigh in. Do you agree with Fran on that, uh, Mona? Absolutely. When, when Hosni Mubarak addressed the nation yesterday and said, I'm going to fire my government, he got it all wrong. He got it back to front. They want him to fire himself. The protesters in Tahrir Square, Liberation Square in downtown Cairo, are chanting now against Mubarak and Omar Suleiman. Omar, you know, Egypt is the number one destination for rendition. Omar Suleiman has been responsible for torturing terrorism suspects for the U.S. administration. Everybody in Egypt knows this, and they associate Omar Suleiman and Hosni Mubarak with torture and with filling up Egyptian jails and human rights violations. Egyptians want the entire Mubarak regime gone in the way that the Tunisians want the entire Ben Ali regime gone and they're doing it and we are learning from the Tunisians and I'm optimistic that they'll do it in Egypt. During the Bush administration was, with, were there renditions to Egypt uh, and to Omar Soleiman who was in charge of the intelligence community? Is she right in other words? Well the, the one that's best known uh, is the one where the, the, the individual was taken to uh, Canada. Canada then returned him uh, and there was much litigation about it, and, and there was litigation about his treatment when he but was But that there. was in Syria, wasn't it? I, you know, you're right, Wolf. I'm sorry. Yeah. That one was to Syria. There, look, there's a long history of renditions. You are quite correct. Between the United States and Egypt, I'm sorry. Um, and look, we, because of the State Department Human Rights Report, um, there were procedures put in place to try and protect anyone who was returned from Egypt from suffering from the kinds of human rights abuses. That Mona, one final question before I let you go. Uh, how much time do you think there is for President Mubarak right now before he steps down? Hosni Mubarak is finished and he is going to step down in a matter of days and just to put that into perspective for you it took the Tunisians 29 days to overthrow the 23 year dictatorship of, of Ben Ali Egyptians took to the streets five days ago and in four days Hosni Mubarak called in the army in four days a regime a tyrant of 30 years has crumbled before tens of thousands of his people in just four days. Hosni Mubarak is finished and I'm confident that the people of Egypt will find an interim government and will move on and I'm confident that this uprising will turn into a revolution that will inspire the entire Arab world.